I'm Pietro De Maria. I won the Geza Anza competition in 1994, a long time ago. I, I, I don't remember who said, I, I went to uh, a concert by Paganini, he played like an angel. So I think even Paganini was much more than a mere virtuoso. I think it was Chopin who said that, I don't remember. But Chopin was definitely fascinated by Paganini. And so Paganini is the um, trade union also for me in between Chopin, uh, that is a, a composer I, I deeply love, and Liszt. So it, it's, it has to be a sort of dancing and uh, it's, 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 it's little jumps and uh, you, you have to, to breathe with, with this melody. You, you don't have to... It sounds different, don't you think so? Huh? I started playing piano at seven. And you know San Marco Square in Venice. And there are three little orchestras. And um, my father knew the pianist of one of these little orchestras. And so when they had their pause, their break, he asked him if I could play. And of course, you know, as, as people see a little boy playing piano, they, they gather around and they, and they stare. And so maybe that was the first sign of recognition I had because as I finished, everybody was clapping. But I must say, I hated that. The most important thing for me of being a musician is that through music, I can forget about myself. Sometimes I wake up in the morning, I don't feel like practicing, I feel tired. I have negative thinking, sometimes like everybody. Then uh, I go to the piano, I start playing, and after 15 minutes, the miracle happens, and then you are in another world. It's like a drug without the negative effects of drugs. It's, 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 it's a privilege to be a musician uh, because there's no routine in our lives. And uh, people think, oh, it's so beautiful to give concerts and, and, and you have so many people who clap and, and scream and everything. But that's not the, the, the most beautiful part. I mean, it's great when you share your emotions, of course. But um, there must be a sort of ego as you appear on scene. On the other hand, uh, you, you have to communicate, you have to give something, you have to share your emotions. So it's, uh, it seems to be contradictory, but it's not. Uh, we are at the same time a little selfish, but we must forget about ourselves when we play for an audience. That's the point. Most of the young people, when they, when they play for a competition, they think, how should they play to please the jury? And this is a mistake, especially in a competition like the Gezanda competition. It's the most important is to, to, to be yourself. Don't be afraid of being yourself. It changed my life because I met wonderful people. I mean, the, the the widow of Gezanda, first of all, his son, the, the secretary of the competition, um, and all the people who work for the competition. Uh, there are lots of um, gas cabers, host families. And um, I, I still have contact with them. 
So I, I met wonderful people and uh, very good friends. And it was nice after the competition. I, whenever I was in Zurich, I was staying with the, with the widow of Gezanda. I was practicing in his studio it, 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 on his piano. It was really touching for me.